It's my great fortunate task to introduce the recipient of this year's Midwest Food Matters Leadership Award. Tonight, we recognize the leadership and innovation of John B. Sanfilippo and Son and their great legacy in the industry. Without further ado, Jeffrey Sanfilippo. Thank you, Wayne, for that very kind introduction. On behalf of the management team at John B. Sanfilippo and Son, and all of our 1,400 employees, we are honored to receive the inaugural Midwest Food Matters Leadership Award. We are very honored, thank you so much. I will have to admit, when Gail first approached me about this award, I was a bit hesitant. I thought, okay, here's a company, we're a very quiet company, we are not a big publicized Chicago business, and we come from very humble beginnings. So I was a bit surprised. And then I thought of my father, who, for those of you that know him, is very anti-recognition gala awards. So I had to convince him that, hey, this is the right thing to do. Um, he would be the first to admit that we have to drag him to events like this. But he is here tonight. <laughs> but then I thought about the leadership award and what it means. I thought about the mission of the Global Midwest Alliance. And I thought about the success of John B. Sanfilippo and Son and the history of our company. And I thought, what a better reason to accept this award uh, for, the, for many things, but really to honor my father, my uncle, to all the people that have helped our company grow over the years. So it's a privilege that we're here tonight. There were three things that really the award stands for that is so important. The first is our roots are in Chicago, in the Midwest. As you saw from the video, we come from a small building in downtown on Diversity Avenue, and that building still is there today. You saw it earlier, um, and it still exists today. And even sitting in this room tonight, I remember as we pulled up to the hotel, my sister's wedding reception was here, and she married into an Irish family, and there were bagpipers all around the balcony as we walked into the room. And then my brother Jasper's wedding reception was here as well in 1999. And so strong family roots in Chicago. So we saw the building ahead and it's still there today. It is now surrounded by beautiful condominiums in that area at Diversity and Larrabee. But it's really a testament to the history, the longevity, and the success of John B. Sanfilippo and Son. Very humble beginnings. And I don't know if you heard my father, but as he was pushing my nephew, E.J. Sanfilippo, who is the fifth generation member of the family, his comment was, kid, you really have it made. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> as a Midwest food manufacturer, it is important that we support our communities and give back when and where we can. And JPSS is proud to provide support to organizations like the Northern Illinois Food Bank. Very important the work they do to solve hunger by providing nutritious meals to those in need in the 13 counties around Illinois. It is organizations like the Northern Illinois Food Bank that are making a difference in the lives of many families and our surrounding communities. The second thing that was so important about this award, award is that Midwest food really does matter. In our facility at Division, you saw we started with 40 women and 110 men manufacturing pecans by hand. And it represents the investment our company has made over the years in innovation and technology to expand to where we are today. At one time, there were 70 families that were taking nuts and shelling them by hand for the one company, the Suzu Nut Company. At that time, there were 13 other pecan shellers in the Chicago area, and Chicago was a very important manufacturing facility for the nut industry in those days. And some of those companies still exist, and some of them have gone away, some of them have moved. Um, a few examples of companies that were here back then. Companies like the Parsodi Pecan Company, Ricci Pecan Shelling Company, Maro Pecan Company, Calamari Pecan Shelling, Porter Products, Ace Pecan, Deluxe Pecan, SNA Nut Company, Generosa Shelling, 
just to name a few. So in Chicago, was, Chicago was a very important pecan shelling area in the turn of the century when pecans were so important. But as industries changed, as we all faced challenges in our businesses, supply chain efficiencies became so important. And so the pecan shellers all started to move south, getting closer to the pecan growing regions. And I believe we were the last company to actually move our facilities from Tui Avenue in, in Des Plaines to Texas at our facility there. We sincerely support the mission of the Midwest Food Matters Initiative to raise visibility and awareness of the important role the food industry plays here in the Midwest. A portion of the revenue generated through this initiative is a critical part of annual manufacturing industry sector funding and support. This allows Global Midwest Alliance to pursue groundbreaking innovative programs that help support, expand, and enhance the success and impact of companies throughout the Midwest with a strong focus on the critical areas of innovation, sustainability, global growth, and workforce development. Now for those employees that are here, you know I talk about our core values. Think about what that means. Global growth, we talk about that as a pillar. Workforce development, sustainability, and innovation. Critical core values of John B. Sanfilippo and Son that this award represents. The third factor that makes this board so important is pr provides an opportunity for us to celebrate our company's success, which is so important. I would like to recognize we're a public company, we have outside directors, so I'd like to recognize our directors that are here with us tonight. Tim Donovan, Elaine Tave, and Dan Wright. Thank you for being here. When I talk about global growth, if you look at the slide, I don't think my grandfather would ever have imagined his face would be used on a promotion in China when we launched a Fisher website to sell Fisher products on, in mainland China. But there he is. Handsome guy. <laughs> but just as important as celebrating the company is to celebrate the employees, the suppliers, the vendors, the service providers that have been with us the entire journey, helping us lead our business, helping us grow our business. And I appreciate all of you being here with us tonight. And it was a chance for us to recognize my father Jasper and my uncle Matt for their leadership, contributions, and support of manufacturing in the Midwest. At JBSS, we are on our way to becoming a billion dollar business in the next few years. Just this past week, our stock price on NASDAQ hit a record on Friday. And we are two days away from finishing our fiscal 2015 year end and we're on track to hit another record year for the business. Today, we are a world-class organization that firmly believes that Midwest food truly does matter. I'll conclude with a few comments, and this is captured around a conversation I had with some college students uh, in my office. Our company has a strong internship program, and every year we invite six students from universities around the area to come work in our company over the summer at different departments. Well, one of the fun events they get to do is ask the CEO any question they want. And so two tough questions came out of the group this year. The first one was really a loaded question. The question was, what is it like working with your family? <laughs> I didn't have to think, well, I had to think a little bit. First I said it was awesome. Can you imagine the Sunday night dinner conversations when we have family functions? Right, Dad? <laughs> but seriously, when I look back on our company's history and family businesses in general, uh, my father, my mother, my uncles, my aunts, all did an amazing job raising their children just as my grandparents did. And they taught us the value of trust, respect, and support of each other as siblings and cousins, now in good times and in bad times. And it is that ideal that they developed in us that I think is so important and is such a big part of the success of our company. So mom and dad, Uncle Tom, everyone that's here as family members, thank you so much for standing by me and for supporting the company and for instilling in us the ideals that you created and developed over the years. Thank you.
When I turned that question over to the interns and asked them if they would work with their siblings, I got a bunch of rolling eyes, and I heard comments like, I could never work with my sister. Oh my God, my brother's a jerk. I will never work with him. They are young, they're in college, so hopefully they'll learn. The second question they asked, which I thought was important, was what is, if you had to pick one aspect of leadership, what would it be? And that was easy for me to answer. For me, my belief is that the most important thing for any leader is to build a strong team around you. You cannot do it alone. No company can do it alone. So it's important to have not only employees that support you, but your service providers that help you as well to grow your business. And we have that here at JBSS, something that I am very proud of. We've got, as I look around the tables here, I see leaders in our organization from so many departments, from finance, from marketing, from sales, from procurement, from administration. Everyone in our organization really works hard to do their best and to be successful as a company. And it is a tribute to them that we are where we are today. So for those JBS employees, please stand so I can thank you personally. Stand up. This is really a treat. We invited employees, not only current, but retired employees, and, and quite a few came to join us tonight, which means so much to me and I know to our family. It's also important to recognize our support system, our suppliers, our vendors, our service providers, because without you, we would not be where we are today as well. So on behalf of, of the company, I thank you for this honor. On behalf of our management team, I thank you. And this award really is not just for John B. San Son. It is for all the food manufacturers in the Midwest that lead with innovation, with sustainability, with support, and do so much to give back to the communities in, in the Midwest. Thank you very much. This is for you, Dad. Thank you. So thank you all to, to everyone in this room. We raised $170,000 this evening, so thank you so much. I also would like to thank is my beautiful mother. Without her, I don't know where my father would be. So mom, thank you. <laughs> Here she is. And really working with family members is is important. It is such a valuable thing for us, the trust, the respect that we share. So I'd like to acknowledge my family members that are here, Jasper, Lisa, Michael Valentine, Jim, Tommy, did I miss anyone? Yes. Roseanne, of course. <laughs> Sorry, Roseanne. Johnny, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> so thank you for being here. So while the evening is almost at an end, there is one more important element that I would like to announce. Midwest Food Matters, thanks to all of you, has had a great beginning, and we look forward to this annual campaign growing and becoming even more impactful over the years. 
To that end, tonight we take the next step by announcing the 2016 Midwest Food Matters honoree. I could not be more excited to let you know that the campaign will go forward in very good hands indeed. I'm pleased to announce that the 2016 honoree will be another legendary Midwest food industry leader, Griffith Laboratories. <laughs> Amazing some of the similarities. similarities. Family-owned for four generations, Griffith Laboratories has been collaborating with food companies to develop and manufacture customized food ingredients for nearly a century. Founded in Chicago in 1919 and headquartered in Elsip, Illinois, the company has grown to include sales and manufacturing locations in 18 countries. Griffith teams of experts blend consumer marketing insight, culinary excellence, and food science expertise to create seasonings, sauces, and marinades, food safety ingredients, and functional ingredients that improve shelf life, yield, and more. Moving into the next 100 years, Griffith is dedicated to a triple bottom line sustainability platform focused on people, planet, and performance. Using sustainability as a guide, the company will continue the journey of serving the food industry with pride and integrity while building customers' brands in the ever-involving marketplace. <laughs> 